Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about getting true wattage readings from AMD GPUs while mining. This really isn't a problem with NVIDIA because the way they measure their wattage off of their GPUs, it's actually the whole board and it actually reports it as the whole board. So when it, NVIDIA GPU says it's pulling 110 watts, it's pulling right around 110 watts. And that's at least in Hive OS. It should be driver based, so it works on all NVIDIA. But for AMD, all my AMD cards I have on my rig shows up wattages. But the problem is these wattages, the way AMD reports it, is only the core. That's how much power that the actual GPU core itself is pulling. It's not the whole board. It's not the VRM. It's not the memory. It's not the crazy little RGB if I had anything that actually had RGB on it, which I don't, but, and the fans, it doesn't record all that extra wattage. So what you always see here in Hive OS and probably any other mining operating system, when you're dealing with AMD, that's not the true wattage. That's a low number. So I'm going to show you today how to get the correct number. And what we're gonna to use today is a clamp meter. And it's not just any old clamp meter. This one is a Unity. I open it on up, pull it out of its sheath. This is a Unity UT216D. There are a lot of clamp meters out there and you can even get really cheap ones. I think this one goes for like just over a hundred bucks, but the really cheap ones only measure AC current in clamp mode. This one does AC and DC, and it's one of the cheaper models, and it even comes with an OLED screen. So it's really easy to read. It does have two regular ports on the bottom here with two regular leads. So this way it is still a regular multimeter as well. But today I'm going to show you how to use a clamp meter in DC mode to read the current and get the actual wattage from a graphics card. So the first thing we're gonna do here is go over to amperage. You can see here, you got the squiggly line for A, and that means a C amperage. We want DC amperage, which is a straight with a dotted line. So let's flip to there. Now we're in DC clamp meter mode. We wanna zero out the little extra background noise. Now we're pretty good. Now we're gonna start with my power color, RX 5700 XT. Now this has two 8-pin connectors on the top here, which runs out to one string. And I also have underneath here, if I can get there, the riser cable, the 6-pin. And I have them fed out over here. These three positive lines, the yellow, are for the dual riser right here, or the dual 8-pin. And then these three smaller gauge ones are for my riser. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this down if I can get it to open correctly. Sorry for the shakiness. Okay, let's angle down just a little bit. There we go. And we're gonna take our meter and you wanna go through all of them on the positive side. Get the meter completely closed. Now, depending upon which way you put the clamp meter on, you might get a negative result, but it's still the same. As you can see here, we are pulling 11 amps total. This is the total amperage for this card. Now to get the wattage, you gotta use Ohm's law. So that would be volts times amps equals watts. Now, if you don't have a ZSX board breakout like I do, which has the voltage on the back of it, um, you would have to then switch this over into voltage mode put the two prongs in here and get a voltage reading off of these wires. But since I have a ZSX, I can go right on back here and see that we are outputting 12.3 volts. So once we set this on up here, this is just a little graph I got going on here. So the current we have is 11.02 amps at 12.3 volts. Now the wattage, I got to do an equal sum and we can see right now at the current settings I have, this card is pulling 135.546 watts. Now, if we go over to Hive OS, 
but you can see it's only telling me 114 watts. So if you made it all the way through this video, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, please. Share this video around the mining community. If you have any questions about this, look down in the video description below. I will have a link to Misfit Mining Discord. You can find me, the rest of the mods, and the founders for the Misfit Mining Discord. And any of us can help you if you have any problems with this.